let me go to python 3.5 interactive shell then do import django so i'm getting import error no module named django let me go to python 2.7 interactive shell then import django there also i am getting import error no module named django so if you want to install django for python uh, 2.3 and above first you have to install python 3 pip and python 3 dev let me install python 3 pip and python 3 dev okay installation completed after that we can use pip3 installer to install django so let me install django using pip3 installer okay installation completed now let me open python 3.5 interactive shell and import django see it's working so if you open python 2.7 and try to import django so here i am getting importer so if you want to install Django for Python 2.7 first you have to install Python pip and Python dev so let me in install that after that you can use pip installer so earlier we used pip3 installer to install django for python 3 so you, if you want to install some package for python 2.7 you have to use pip install so let me install the package django using pip install for python 2.7 okay done now let me go to python 2.7 import django see it's working now we have installed the package django for python 2.7 and python 3 and above suppose you want to delete the module django for python 2.7 you can run this command pip in uninstall django that will delete the module django only from python 2.7 see i deleted now go to python 2.7 and import see it's removed but it's still there in python 3 go to python 3 and import see it's there in python 3 so if you want to remove from python 3 what you have to do is you have to use pip3 pip3 uninstall pip3 uninstall django just do pip3 uninstall django it will remove django from the module or package django from python 3 and above okay done now go to python 3 then import see it's removed so this way we can install new packages or modules for python 3 and python 2.7 
so if you are using a virtual environment first you have to activate that environment then use pip or pip3 to install new packages into that environment so while creating an environment you can specify the version of the python which you want to use in that environment okay